Oh, we're in the, okay, so we're in the second round. I told you, we got everyone's attention. So she's ready. Long call. Here we go. I think it's huge. It's absolutely Look massive. at all of these barbs. $200,000 stingray. Before I start today's video, I want to shout out my TikTok. It's not sponsored, they're not paying me whatsoever. I just need to get more followers than Zach and Blake because we're making a $5,000 bet to whoever gets to 10K first. Go follow me now. It's at Paul Cafaro. The Owen Cafaro is a zero. And I need to get as many followers as I can right now before I lose $5,000. So please go do that. What is going on? What is going on, Cafaro? Welcome back to another video here today. Guess where we're at? We're here again. Stingray facility out here in California. This place is absolutely crazy. Look at these things. Oh my goodness gracious. Yo, look at the lighting right now. Zach, what do you think, bro? Dude, I've never been here before. This is crazy. Oh gosh, what are you turning into? What are we? What is happening? California girl. <laughs> so you guys have probably seen this video right here. It's the tour of this whole entire place. I'm gonna show you it again for those of you who haven't seen it. Real like a quick brief walkthrough. Look at all of these barbs. These are all stingray bars that are dropped. They drop them consistently, um, and he just keeps them when he finds them. If you look closely, the razor blades are backwards, so when they go in, it's hard for them to come back out because all of them are backwards. So if I just rub my finger this way, it's stuck. See how it gets stuck? If I rub it this way, it just goes right along. That way, nope, nope, nope. Zach's a, he's a bit shocked. Look at him, he's, he's freaking out. <laughs> the coolest parts about last time I was here, and even that I've realized the time I'm here right now, is how many different colors, species, hybrids that you can get out of breeding stingrays. Look at these things. They're so, so dope. There's just everything so, look at that. That is an albino black diamond stingray. Like, that's like $10,000 right there. That's like a rack sitting in a fish tank. Sickest thing I've ever seen. I would absolutely do anything to have one of these things in my tank. That right there is that, but albino. And obviously that's much smaller, but still. Now I do remember last time I was here that a lot of these black diamonds are priced off of how many spots they have and how dark the black is with the white. So if it has like this bright, bright white and a dark, dark black and the circles are perfect and there's a lot of them, it's gonna be a lot more than something that's just like, you know, a lighter color and less spots. It's you back here. Look, he's got a mustache. Oh, he doesn't wanna show us it. Come here. Look at the mustache. He has a mustache right there, look at it. It is absolutely huge in here though. It's, it's, it's a little massive. Blake, what do you think, bro? Insane. Right? Out of this world. Like, this is legit amazing. Are you gonna get some? You saw Scarface's girlfriend? No. It's over there. Let me see it. It's insane. Let's go check it out. Don't you have Scarface at your place? Yeah. It's that like I got. this one with the. With the little cut through its face. It was born that way, but there's another one that was born that way. It just happens every once in a while, and he's over there. I'll check to show you guys right now. Look at down here. Right there in the corner. Oh. Look at it. It was born that way. And it's something even different. It has a white spot right next to his eye. Yeah, so you so can see the other one. I think, shh, low key, I think Kevin might gonna be messed up. I might wanna keep it because it might be pie. So who knows what happens. But that thing is out of this world and that's probably coming to the ranch. Uh oh. There it is right there. You see how it's got like a, a deform up. You wanna cover him? Okay. See so the little cut on his face? Dude, it's literally the same as the one you have. Yeah. And the coolest thing is, is these are all Sibling, so 24 7 here. There's just consistently being stingrays bred. So that is what Kevin does He's a literally a stingray breeder if you look there's just breeders in all these tanks and the pups are in these little cages above all Up here. Look at them all over there, too But you now to you you expensive expensive little fella. This is the only stingray like its kind in the entire world Last time I was here, we mentioned this stingray briefly, and the comments were just flooded with, I wanna see more of this stingray. So while we were in California, I had to stop by and see this stingray and the many others that are in here at Stingray Biology, and uh, check it out and film another video for you guys. There's so many different stingrays, I'm gonna get Kevin over here. Kevin, what's going on again? Howdy. We wanna know a little bit more about this because my comments were just flooded. Really? This stingray in particular, last video that I made a tour of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, do you have any other information on this stingray? Well, uh, it's the only one in the world. Yep. Okay, um, it's an albino bosmani. Mm -hmm. It comes from Suriname. It was wild caught. Wild caught at how big, roughly? At four inches, I got it at this size. Yep. 
Yeah. Um, and what else? I'm, I'm trying to breed it. Um, did it have some? Did it? It, it had some babies, right? It had babies. Oh my goodness! So what's the plan with these babies? So these babies are first generation. They're called 100% hets. Yep. So they all carry the albino gene. Oh. So when they get older, I'm gonna breed them back to each other, and then they will produce for me. Uh, <laughs> 25% albinos. <laughs> that awesome. That's awesome. So this thing is literally a one in a world. Yeah. It's like a what, four year project. That's crazy. Yeah, four, two, to to grow her up four. two and a half years to maturity and then breed it and then grow the pups up another two and a half years to maturity. Yep. And, 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 like and roughly... Four and a half, five years. Question. Question for this one. Yeah. Do tortoises, I know with tortoises, when you breed tortoises, you have to have like a virgin male and female to produce with the females because if not, if they can hold the sperm of the other animal. So yes. like if you have a male that's with something else, will they throw it to that one? So um, it's possible. I've heard rumors of stingrays yeah. um, uh, storing sperm yeah. for, 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 yeah. for future breeding or yeah. whatever. But these guys... Um, are those all the males I, over there? Yeah, I raised them from small. So you These are all the males right here. Yeah, They've clean. never been. Never been in a male. Yeah. That's awesome. Right? Ah, That's what I mean. Smart man, smart man. Perfect stuff right there. So these are the males that it did end up breeding with. Do you know which one exactly? Um, that batch was from this male here. Oh, it's the prettiest one. Yeah. I'm going to rotate. Because this particular type was Mani, yep. their, their patterns vary. Mm -hmm. So what I did here was I selected three different looks. Yeah. To cross. And then that way, I'll look at the results of the pups and see which is the nicest result, mm -hmm. and then I will continue that line. Yeah. So there you go. That was a little bit more info on this stingray right here. Um, blown away, once again. And, and how much do you think this stingray is worth, roughly, if you had to guess? Roughly at this moment? Oh my look god. <laughs> um, hey, figure this out, buddy. 200,000, maybe? $200,000. $200,000 Stingray. So to be honest, it's really all I got. I'm gonna have the full tour of this place linked down below. So if you wanna go check that out, you can go down there right now. Other than that, we're gonna to head to the airport and get ready to head back to Florida. If you guys are interested in purchasing any Stingrays, uh, you can go to Stingray Biology. I'm gonna have all his links down below. Facebook in particular. Yeah, do Facebook, a lot of Facebook messaging. Facebook, Instagram. Thing, uh, that'll be down there. You got a bunch of shrimp here. Oh yeah, looking fishy and juicy. Yeah, love it. I think she's ready. Long, Paul. Here we go. I think it's huge. It's absolutely massive. Wait till she smell she'll, it. She'll send it for you. It's all down there. Here you go, Zach. You wanna record me? Yes, I do. Thanks, man. No yeah, problem, bro. <laughs> How do I add a song to my TikTok? No, no, no. We all have TikToks. We all have TikToks. No, no. Exposed. We all have TikToks. Oh, 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 she feels them. She feels them. No. Doom. Doom. Gone. I love how they just like, they're like a hover. It's like a hoverboard. Like, for sure. They're like this. <laughs> Watch this one right here. Yeah. Watch. Ready? Whoop. Gone. Gone. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I could actually see her chewing it. There you go. You ever seen $200,000 eating a piece of shrimp? That's what it looks like. <laughs> we're going to we're going to scream and let the airport know that we're here, okay? On 3, everyone has to scream, okay? Okay. 1, what do we scream? 2, catch them all. Okay, scream catch them all. Scream catch them all. Pokémon go. 2, 3. Catch them all. Wow. Look, I told you, we got everyone's attention. The whole airport knows who we are now. Hi! Follow us, Sam J. Harm on Instagram. Follow Paul Cafaro. I'm on Instagram. Oh, wow. What's up? Hi, Lulu. <laughs> She's like, hello. How are you? Well, we're home. Our little aggressive chick is doing good. Over here are Indian spotted turtles. Both these little fellas look like they are doing amazing. There's the other one. This water's crystal clear. Look at the yard, how green it is. It's completely grown in now. Before it was dirt and now it is all grass and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm literally out here waiting for the fence guy to show up because I'm putting the down payment on all the materials to put this fence in right here. We're doing the fence for the barn. It should be installed within the next couple of days, maybe two, three days. And then after that, obviously, the barn is going to be built. Then we have this whole side oh look at the trees I 
completely annihilated those palm trees with that golf cart right there. But we have this whole side of the yard to do pretty much whatever we want on. So, big question here. If you have any really, really cool ideas, it could be literally anything to do on that side of the yard. It's about one and a half acres on that side. Comment something down below. Comment down below something really cool that we can do, whether it's small or it takes up the whole entire land. Just comment it down below. And uh, if it's a really cool idea, I might just do it. And then of course I'll put that comment in a video uh, when we end up doing whatever it is. 160 gallon is also looking absolutely amazing. Got the Jag right there. The Oscar right there. Beicher, where's the clown knife? There's the clown knife up in there. Raphael. Arowana chilling right there. I always look forward to seeing things like this when I get home. Just a beautiful clean tank with my fish all happy inside of it. It has been a very, very long time since I've shown them you, Luna. This fish is so old, I, it doesn't even make sense to me, to be honest. It, if you go way, 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 way back into my channel, like one of my first couple fish videos, that's one of the fish that I buy in it, Luna. If you have yet to do so already, hit that like button down below. I'll give you a few seconds, here we go. And also, join the family. Hit the subscribe button, become a Cafaro today. It's completely free. Make sure you go check out my TikTok. It's linked down below. It's Paul Cafaro, the O in Cafaro is a zero. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Jim. Oh my God, I saw you in the Challenger Games. Keep up the good work, you are amazing. By the way, your turtles are so cute. Thanks, Jim, and the Challenger Games was absolutely insane. Roll the clip. And as we go, the sand oh, is set, by the way, over at the long jump. Oh, we're in, okay, so we're in the second round here of the long jump. Sent it 17 feet 6 inches, but I came in second because Sam Hurley went 18, which was absolutely insane. He flew like an eagle. He's the leader right now. That's a great 17 feet. 17 feet, wow. And actually the form on that was pretty good. Yeah, and he's, he, you know what it is, he's got great hair. It was a blast. If you want to win a positive comment, shout out and have your comment on the screen in one of his upcoming videos, all you got to do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below. Holy moly, I said that fast. Until next time, I will see you in that next video. Peace.